So you have drawn the solid portion. And now we are going to move on to the liquid. So liquid particles. We've talked about how it does not have definite shape. It moves around. You've mentioned that you think that the particles are a little bit spread out. So this is how you would, if we took a picture and we zoomed really far in, how our little liquid particles would look. We have some of these particles. They're just hanging out, doing their thing. But they're a little more spread out, okay? Spreading out. They're a little more spread out. And then guess what? These things can move. They move back and forth. They move a little bit. They can move in any physical direction. They can move. Yep, I'm just drawing arrows just because. They can move around. And sometimes liquid can put more than solid balls. And Jerry, he was hit by a soft ball. A foam ball compared to a hot ball in the water. What's the temperature? Like? Anyway. That is irrelevant, right? But the particles would play a point in that. So our liquid particles move around. They don't move around a crazy amount. They don't have a ton of space to move, but they move around. So if Marco's with me up here, and he's a particle, I'm a particle, or we're solid, we're going to be like this. Not a lot of room. Okay. All right. So this is kind of uncomfortable, right? Yeah, these are solid. All right. So if we're liquid, we're both going to take one step to, you're going to take a step to your left, and we're going to take a step to my right. Ready? Take a step. Now we're liquid. Now we have a little more space. Now we can, now we can dance a little bit. Now we can move around. Right? We can move. These are like our water particles. Every once in a while, we're going to bump into each other. I have to and move around. But that's water, right? <laughs> See? Good dance moves, Marcos. So that's our water particles. That's what water particles are kind of looking like. They're just awkwardly standing there like me and Marcos and dancing a little bit. That's what you can picture in your head. So they have a little more wiggle room. They can move around and they take the shape of their container. Now they're really hard to like hold, but you still can. If you get it in your hand just right, it'll hold and it'll stay in your hand, right? It won't go floating away unless it, you know, is going to uh, precipitate into the air, but we'll cover that later. So right here, I have this jar of air. I have a jar of air, and I have a cup of this sand right here. Now, here's a question. My sand, has it taken the shape of its container? So is it a liquid or a solid? Why? Because it's Wesley. It's solid because the liquid, while it has more space to move, solid, they're still compact. That's still compact, but it, it's full of very tiny portions. Yeah, it's the tiny little portions, the tiny little pieces of sand that make it take the shape of the container. So it's just the amount of the room the actual sand takes up, which is why it moves around. And they're all little tiny ones. So the actual particles of this sand, are they the same as this table right here? Why? Because that's solid. This is solid, and this is a solid. So the particles are close together. Yeah. Right? Even though that I can't put that table inside this bag, <laughs> the particles are still the same. Okay. So this sand. Oops. Do both? Is there anything in this cup? Yeah. Air. Yes. Yeah. How do you know? Yeah. Wait. How could we tell if there's actually something inside this cup or not? Because I don't feel anything. I can feel this. This takes up space. This is sand. This takes up space. So I know that this is real. But I can't feel anything inside this cup. How do I know something's there? Tate? I can breathe in. Yeah, maybe. But how do I know? Can I see it? Can I weigh it? Yeah, if I did a certain type of experiment, maybe, which we'll do later this week. But how do I? How can I tell something's in this cup, Zoe? Because um, it's everywhere. So like, if you could see your air, then you wouldn't be able to be able to see any like. Oh yeah, yeah, box. yeah. True. But here's how we're gonna tell. So let's see. London, come here. So we know that there's air. You guys think that there's air in here taking up space? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. So how do I? 
Oh, I'm gonna take that question away. They think they're saying they're taking up space. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try to prove them wrong or right. Okay, we don't know which one. You think they're right or wrong? Right. Think they're right? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bag of sand and I'm gonna drop it in here. Okay? You're gonna hold your hand as close to this cup as you can. You're gonna tell me if you feel anything. Okay? Other than the bag. Feel the bag, don't tell me about that. So you feel anything move. So hold your hand close. Head over. Ready? Feel anything? What'd you feel? How does air feel? Yeah, all right, good. So it had to make room for the solid, so the air got out of there. Good. Okay, you have a seat, London. Thank you. So London's description of what happened there was perfect. So air is chilling in here, right? It's taking up space in here. But now I put this solid in here, and it needs space. So the two can't take up the same space. So I put this in here. It pushes the air out and into London's hand. Is there still air in here taking up space? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, because there's some some pieces there. There's some space here. But where the solid is, it pushed the air out of the way. It made it move so it could make room for our solid. That's like when a toddler is in the toddler room and they want to get somewhere, and there's a kid in their way, they push them out of the way. That's what our solid just did to the air. So it's like a toddler in the toddler room. I've seen it happen. So we go with that. Yeah, this is get out of the way, right? What you'll need to do is I want you to go, since we have our masks, since we have to we have to socially distance this, what I want you to do is I want you to go spread out away from somebody, take your notebook with you, and just stand there for a second. So spread out away from somebody. Spread out away from somebody. Yes, yeah, that's exactly it. You can trap that air in. So go ahead, go far away. I don't want you standing close to anybody, okay? Now just, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hand over your mouth like this. Pull your mask down just a little bit and just blow into your hand really quick, just for two seconds. Okay, now put your mask on. All right, now come back over here. Yeah, you're gonna work out in. Welcome to science class. This is now also doubles as PE. Mystery. Yeah. Is mercury a solid or is it a liquid? Talk about that actually later in the unit. Okay. So. What did you feel when you did that? What did you feel? There's the obvious. I felt my breath and all that. But like, what did you feel and why do you think you felt that? What did you feel? Why did you why do you think you felt it? Emmett, what did you feel and why do you think you felt it? Um I felt air coming out and touching my hand. Felt air coming out and hitting your hand. Okay. Why do you think that you the you felt the air hit your hand? Because it's because air is what you breathe out. Yeah. So you because of what you drew like what you were to breathe out, okay? But when you breathe and you took that breath out, what happened that made the air hit your hand? Zoe? Um, I kind of like, is it kind of like, um, your mouth is kind of like the solid object, and the air got like trapped in there, so it's letting itself out, kind of. Okay, kind of, kind of. London? It's kind of like, it's not really two different types of air, it's the green air coming up from the mouth and pushing the air that you recently had. Okay, so the new air, we'll call it what the new air London's talking about. There's air just sitting right here, right? Okay, if you wave your hand around, you can feel the wind, you can feel that little breeze there. You're feeling that air, that stuff that's taking up space, okay? So when you breathe out, think about your breath as like pushing the air that's sitting there out and away, okay? And it's, it's moving it and taking up its own space. Remember, toddler in a toddler room. Pushing somebody out of their way. Your breath is doing that to the existing air that's there. So I just took this bag and I waved it around and I made sure I didn't dump anything into it, but now instead of the bag being flat, it's got a little bit of air in it, right? So that tells you I just captured air that was just chilling there and I moved it and I put it in here, okay? 
So if you're looking at this, you can't see it, but is it taking up some kind of space? Yeah. yeah. So that's part of our definition of matter, right? Anything that takes up space. Think, do you think air has mass? Yes. Yeah. 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 Because air no. can be heavy. No. Because, for example, tsunami starts from low. Like a wind gets pushed, can be pushed by air or like one. Okay. So like the or wind. Big winds like a tornado. It's just air. Okay. But it's but it's applying force on something. Sure. Sure. What else do you think, Amelia? I read a book in the Biblical Sun Trap, but it okay. also said when you were born, you have to be able to handle the weight of the air because when you walk or when you um, crawl, uh, gravity and the air gravity pulls air down too. Okay. And it'd be pushing you towards the earth if you didn't uh, know how to hold yourself up. Okay. So yeah, you have to deal with some of the weight of the air. Your air actually does have mass. It takes up some kind of space. And we'll investigate that a little later on in the unit. But what do we think with this air in here? Is it, does it have a definite shape? Does no. air have a definite shape, Zoe? Um, no, I think like, it kind of depends on how you're like, pushing it together. Yeah, how you, depends on how you're pushing it together. Like, okay, now it has a shape, one shape. Now it has another shape, right? Now it has another shape. Think about a balloon, right? You blow into a balloon, it gets a little bigger, gets a little bigger, gets a little bigger, and then it pops, and then it's just a piece of rubber, right? So our air, our gas particles, and gases, not just oxygen, but in gases, some gases are like thicker than others, right? Like but in gases, like smog, right? What do you think the particles look like in a gas? So in a solid, they're tight, super compact, our object can't change shape. Liquid, they're a little further apart. They have some wiggle room, they can move around, and they don't have a definite shape, it changes shape. Now gas, what do we think? What do we think for gas? Tape? Do you think they're extremely far apart? What else about our particles in a gas? Shrekin? I think, uh, I think kind of like Kate's idea, mm -hmm. because they're far apart, and they don't have Yeah, sure. If you think about smoke, you can kind of wave it away and then it kind of swirls and kind of goes away, right? Sure. All right, so our gas particles, they are more spread apart and they have way more room to move. They can move all around, they move any which way, and they bounce off of things and they're just moving. Moving, 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 moving at all times. Just moving constantly, yes. But they also bounce off each other. They will, yeah. They let us bounce. Kind of like yeah. a It's just like a rubber ball. Yeah, kind of like a rubber ball. Kind of like if I chucked one of those extremely bouncy rubber balls in this room, it would just bounce, 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 bounce. So this is what our gas particles look like. They're all over the place. And they don't have like a particular set. They're not just staying in there. They're all over, bouncing off of everything. All right? Those are our particles. And that is literally the basics of the bare bones particles. So our solid, right there, our particles look like this. Super close together. Our liquid, our jar isn't going to stay. Oh. Our liquid, the jar, if the jar would have stayed, our particles look like that. Our gas, I'm not even going to try this because I know it's not going to stay, it's going to go away. Okay? It's going to be really, 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 really spread out. So, I showed you that I can kind of capture some air in a bag so it's all around us at all times. We've talked about the particle sizes. So what I need you to do now is go back to your seats.